What is good guys? It's the champ and you're in a ride along with the champ and his boy Troublemaker. Sipping down a free Mickey D's coffee. Whoop whoop. Um, I feel blessed that they had these the last time that I got a, uh, a uh, like a bigger free coffee. I gotta, gotta give a shout out to my homie Dean Wild. Um, her girlfriend actually hooked her up with it uh, with a bunch of these like free uh, McCafe coupons. So I was able to get a free one, um, and I appreciated that. That was dank. And now I got myself, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning or whatever the time is, and I got myself this uh, this free small coffee. I like my coffee to milk to sugar. That's how I like it. Um, milk less. It is, yeah, it is tasty, man. It is uh, delightful, and I, I am, I, you know, it just it goes down proper. And like, like I personally think on most days McDonald's coffee beats out Tim Hortons coffee. Yeah. What's well, one man's opinion? I myself am not a coffee drinker, so I couldn't confirm nor deny that. Mm. Anyway, you are watching one of the new. Uh, this is the mid. This yo. This is the ride along after hours. Right. Well, what I meant to say was. Uh, you're, you are getting a taste of the new kinds of vlogs I'll be doing, as I mentioned in my last video, where I was talking about like I'm gonna step away from just doing vlogs where I'm just sitting in front of my computer camera and just yakking away. I'm still gonna be yakking away, but it's gonna be stuff like this where I'm out and about. Yeah. So uh, earlier today, the weather was clear. It was really warm. It was nice, and now look at it. We're getting flurries and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you guys like, can see like that the properly. Devil. It looks like Crumpus has arrived to Scarborough. Speaking of Scarborough, we're passing by Scarborough Go Station. Mm hmm. Uh, Brandon usually jumps on the Scarborough Go Station to go to places like. Well, actually, it's Gilwood Go Station, but I go to. I don't take it that often. I think the last time I took it was to go to the X back last August. What about going to Richmond Hill Center to come see me for the, Oh, Oh, yeah, well, that's the, that's the Go Bus. I thought you meant the Go Train. Ah, okay. But yes, I do take the Go Bus somewhat frequently. I, you know what? I've rarely taken the Go Bus, and I've almost never taken the Go Train. It's kind of upsetting. Really? Yeah. Um, I, one day I would make my mission to smoke a nice joint or have an edible in me and just take a Go Train and let it go. <laughs> just go anywhere it wants to. And so I can just chill back and have fun and be delightful. Um, and I think the next time that I blaze will be insane because I've, you know, I'm on a sober binge right now. I'm doing it for one of my best friends, T Dog. And, uh, yeah, like, I have been sober since November 1st, which is a good record, yo. Honestly, guys, it's easy to go cold turkey. Like, I know, no, it's, it's not easy, you know, because, like, two weeks in, I was, like, I was going through really difficult times. I was kind of, like, really upset. Like, I was, um, like where water was coming out of my eyes if you understand what I was saying it's really hard we're passing a cemetery and it was really hard yeah you can't really see it but we are passing a cemetery yes and um I, I so badly wanted to revert back to some kind of level of intoxication to chill out and I did not do it I gave up alcohol I gave up energy drinks and even though I am the self-proclaimed hashtag energy drink king and that I gave is. up the greenery that is fucking willpower right there. Yeah, man, and I was able to do it. So if I can do it, you can do it. No harm to it. Let's do it. Let's get her done. You can do it. Put your back into it. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Um, yo, so I heard cemeteries actually have. A, if you're a player of Pokemon Go, apparently cemeteries have a lot of Pokestops. Uh, it's probably mostly Ghost Pokemon too. I don't know about that. But it is ghost Pokestops. Like, so my homie T Dog that lives in Guelph, she said when she was playing Pokemon Go, um, the cemetery um, close to the Walmart there, like one big cemetery in Guelph, one of the big ones, there's tons and tons of Pokestops. And she found that it was kind of disrespectful for I've laughed. Because, like, you know, you have those people that just go out of their ways to, like, you know, uh, like, to go out of their ways to be like, oh, I'm just playing a game of Pokemon. Uh, why I'm here, you know, and there was also a story where, like, in North York, Ontario, um, some lady, unfortunately, you know, she was burying her kid, 
and all these people just kept showing up to this grave site because there was a focus stop nearby and it was very disrespectful and she was not having it. She was angry, like grr angry. I don't blame like, her. I can completely understand where she is coming from, you know. Um, so it's, guys, what I'm trying to say is it's not right to think that it's okay to, to go out of your way just to hit a focus stop. Like, don't, you know, like, if the graveyard is empty and not much is popping, then by all means, go, like, I've done it, I've done it in the dark, you know, focus stops reset every, like, 10, 15 minutes or something like that, or less. I don't even know how I got on this topic, but, um, yeah, we're passing a graveyard and that's how I started talking about that stuff. Uh, my boy over here, B-Man, aka the champ, does not play Pokemon Go. Tell Red people him. why you have not got into this to this mass insanity that has taken over the lives of many Pokemon Go. Well, for two very uh, understandable reasons. Number one is, I on my phone I currently have, I do not have much data on it. Maybe 500 megabytes. Okay. So... That's one of the main reasons why, and if I were to try to limit myself to Wi-Fi, I could not get very far. I'd have to basically just use my mobile data. Number two, I've seen, especially uh, my boy Shadow Kid, who should have been here, but he, he decided to stay behind, which is fine. To he, play Yu-Gi-Oh! Gang, 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 Yu-Gi-Oh! Gang, scene, scene, word, what? What he said. Anyway, um... I've seen my boy Shadow Kid play it, and like, there's so many times where it would just randomly crash, or it would just be so slow that you couldn't really do anything, and then it would crash, and then, and I, and I hear like the the mileage, for lack of a better term, is kind of BS because it'd say like, oh, you can hatch an egg in two kilometers, twenty kilometers later, you can hatch an egg in one point eight kilometers. You know, it's just messed up. Now, I know it's kind of like if you're on a bus or something, yeah, I could see why, because it's kind of cheating, but if you're legit walking, and it tells you two kilometers, and you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking, and it still hasn't hatched, and something's seriously up with that, I hope that they fix that in the new uh, patch, the new Johto thing, whatever, but even still, I don't find it worth playing, in my opinion. That's just one man's opinion, though, guys. No, no, no. Okay, look. Like, I've examined the situation, and the way I see it is when you have Pokemon eggs and you're walking, you, you know, like, your your GPS um, is being picked up. So, like, so the way I look at it, and I could be wrong. Should I turn here? No. No, I should go straight. Okay. I could be wrong, but, um... If say say if you're walking and then there's a lot of tree coverage that's actually blocking the signal of your GPS, which is kind of stopping your your trail track count. Now I could be completely wrong because we live on a dirt ball and there's lots of trees. But um, the two the whole two kilometers, five and ten kilometers, yeah, sometimes it feels like it takes days and stuff, you know. And sure, it's just a game, so like a game can be wrong, but it's giving you the whole ideal sense that even though it could be wrong, you're still out there adventuring more, getting that one egg hatch while you're capturing more Pokemon, while you are picking up more items at Pokestops, and the whole premise of the game is to get items to use them. I understand you want to pres like reserve them for what you think will be a better time, but there's not always going to be the best time, because... Like, for example, you have a lucky egg or whatever, right? And like, or you have a lure. Say you have a lure and you set it up and because you think one day you're going to go out with your homies and you're going to set this lure up. You might be the only one playing after a little while after your homies have decided they don't want to play Pokemon Go anymore. And then like, so you're using the lure on your, you know, for yourself and like random people that are still playing. So... Items are meant to be used in games, so by all means, please pick them up and use them. And like, to be honest with you, once you use them, the I think the greater chance you have of re-getting an item that you might need at a greater dispense from a Pokestop. It sounds like a lot of mathematical kinesiality. I can't even say words properly. Equations, but I think that makes sense. Seen, seen word. Right. Anyway, so we're back into my hood now, yeah. and uh, 
So we just passed the Guildwood. I, get, I showed you guys a quick glimpse of it just back there. We just passed Guildwood Go Station, which is a go station I usually use if I'm going to be traveling to say Union or Exhibition or sometimes even Niagara Falls, although I haven't gone in years. I actually think the last time I went was probably 2009. <laughs> Yeah. Niagara Falls is pretty dank. I like Niagara Falls. They have a lot of weed shops in Niagara Falls. Is that a fact? The, uh, and a lot of tattoo parlors. I think it's trying to tell you something like you should get high and get a tattoo. And then regret it for the rest of your life. Or you should get a tattoo and then get high. And, and then regret it for the rest of your life. And then you won't remember if you got the tattoo first or if you got high first. I'm kidding. If you guys want a tattoo, that's fine, but honestly, like, if you're doing it just to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, be different, well, guess what, everybody's getting, freaking getting a tattoo now, you'd be more different if you didn't get a tattoo. Like me, I don't have a tattoo, I mean, I can, I guess I can kind of see the appeal of it, but I just never bothered, I just never wanted to get one. It's kind of like doing weed, I can see why people would like it, but I really don't think, I really never had a desire to try it, so... It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yo, you know, I, like, what, like, you know what? I, I always feel like I am the different one and a late bloomer because, like, even in high school, like, I had made a promise to my You're mom. You're stuck behind this guy. You might as well just go around. That I, no, it's all good, man. Maybe I'll go after this car. Yeah, we're just gonna st get stuck behind the bus, so. Didn't yeah, want like, that to happen. Yeah, in high school, I made a promise to my mom a long time ago that I wouldn't do drugs or anything or drink or, or whatever the case is. And then, you know, I'm, you know, like the way I look at it is like a few years later, unfortunately, she passed. And so I look at it like she got to, while she was alive, she got to see me, you know, keep that promise. Um, but, you know, I, growing up, I was always curious about all, what all the hype was, blah, blah, blah. So, safe to say, like, I like to blaze now. I do. Um, but I'm not an addict or anything like that. Uh, but when I, when I first tried blazing, you know, I wanted to do... Like, it's, like, everyone's like, oh, blazing's Sorry, fun. Sorry, uh, Dan, I hate to cut you off here, but the camera's gonna conk out any minute now. Okay, so... We'll, we'll get to that story right. another time. Uh, um... <coughs> anyway, we're back, guys. We just had to... Because the camera obviously conked out. Yeah, you know, so... What I was basically saying is... Yes, yeah, so the first time I blazed, I went to, uh... Went to Screamers... And I blazed with two random girls in the entrance to a bathroom and stuff like that. And I was, it was... Just a little light. Do you hear random shit? Yeah, I do. That's weird. Um, yeah, so I blazed in the bathroom and all that, and it was cool. Yo, let's get out. Let's get out. Actually, I want to know what the fuck this is. Alright, let's find out. Uh, it's a couple drunk guys singing. A couple drunk guys singing over there. That's weird. It's a bunch of drunk guys singing from the sounds of it. Okay, so you even like, wear your hoodie? Yeah. Where the fuck is my hood? <laughs> oh, my hood got stuck in my jacket. Okay. <coughs> it was really funny. Like we heard, we heard some people like chanting some random stuff, and it was really funny. Listen.
first time I tripped out. I, I wanted to do it on something I, I had fun at doing sober. I wanted to know what it was like on a level of intoxication. And I had fun. And you know, so like, when I go to do things like that, I enjoy watching horror movies, you know, going on scary things, or two scary things, haunted houses, all that shit. I like to blaze and do it. But now that I'm committed, and I won't blaze until after a certain point, I do things sober-mindedly, and it's good too, you know. So, uh, whatever you think you can't do, you can do. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Champ, for letting me finish my story. Alright, guys. Maker on the Champ's channel. We out, guys. See you later. Gang.